Hi and welcome back to Sulendo. Today I'm going to guide you on how you can get to and navigate the home page or the page that you see on the screen. I'm also going to give an overview of different features and content categories that we have on the home page, their importances and benefits. And lastly, I'll talk about different content features. So, how do you get to the home page or the page that you see on the screen? So this is how. Basically, you're going to start from the desktop or the first screen that you see when you open your computer. So make sure you're connected to the internet. So be it you're using a, a smartphone, desktop or laptop connected to the internet. And secondly, you're going to navigate and open your browser. So when you have your browser open, you should locate the address line or the address bar, usually at the top of the browser window. When you do that, type in sulendo.org. When you type sulendo.org, hit enter on the keyboard. Or if you're using a mobile phone, press enter or go. And that's it. Now you are on the home page of Sulendo. Now, what are some of the features or content categories that we have on the home page? When you get to this page, first thing you usually see on the very top of the page, you have login for administrators. So this is the feature that Sulendo experts or Sulendo administrators utilize to upload different content to the platform. And to the far right, you have the help button. So if you click on this button, you're going to get, let's take you don't understand how Sulendo works or you don't understand how to do something or how to find something on Sulendo. Then this is going to be your guide. This is where you're going to find all your help that you need. And just below it, you have this notice. So usually this is where we are going to communicate what we have to to our users. For example, this notice just acknowledges users to give feedback of their experiences as they use the platform. And below it, we have the welcome to Sulendo. So this is the message you're going to be seeing now and then that welcomes our users to the platform. And we have the search bar. So if you don't want to go to, uh, to navigate or search the content according to different content categories, you can utilize the search bar to find the content that you need. And after typing, for example, you say, okay, I would like to uh, get Macbeth. You need to type in Macbeth. And if you do that, you just uh, press or hit and uh, start search just next to the, to, to, the, to the search bar. Just below the search bar, you have the view all content. And this is an interesting feature where you will find all the content that you need uh, in different categories or different types of content that uh, is present on the platform. So this content is not necessarily arranged in any order, but it contains different categories. And another section of the content category is the form. So this is the feature that, that you're going, is going to guide you to navigate the content according to the form. Let's take you want to explore content from form three. So you can just go ahead and click or press on form three and you have all the content from form three. So you can also access the form three syllabus or any other form syllabus just by clicking on the form. And then next or below the form category, we have the subject uh, section. So this is a collection of different 
subjects in secondary schools in Malawi. So if you'd like to explore a particular subject, then this is the section that you're supposed to come to. So you just press or, or tap or, or click on the subject that you would like to explore and you have all the content that you need. Then the other feature or the other uh, section of the homepage of the content collection is the uh, Sulendo textbooks. So this is, is an additional feature or the collection of Sulendo textbooks that we produce. So in case you did not know, Sulendo does not only focus on providing digital uh, resources, but we also offer or we author textbooks. So if you'd like to support the development of these textbooks, you can find more information on our website. And these textbooks are super easy to use and they have interesting features like external links that direct or redirect our students or users to external resources after completing the course or any other topic in the textbook. And then lastly, we have the footer at the very bottom. So this footer or this section contains several buttons. So we have the about button that has content or has information about Sulendo. So if you'd like to understand or know more about Sulendo, then this is the area that you're supposed to approach or reach out to. And we have the WhatsApp button. So if you'd like to provide feedback also, or else you would like to reach out to us, or you have content that you would like us to upload to the platform, then you can reach out to us on WhatsApp. And to the far right, you have the privacy notice. So this button, if you click this button, you find all the information that explains how we use some of the information that we might be collecting from you. For example, the user sessions, if you, you're using the platform, the website or the platform might be collecting some information. So in this area, you're going to find all the information that explains how we might be using such information. And lastly, we have uh, a logo, the Next Generation Africa logo. So if you click on this logo, it's going to take you to our Next Generation Africa website, where you can find more information on all our projects. For example, the textbook projects, uh, also the Solendo projects, and also other projects that we are into. Therefore, I encourage you to keep exploring and familiarizing yourself with the platform and let us know what you think about the platform through our survey form that can be accessed uh, right by clicking on Sulendo survey. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.